Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here now to do another one of our alphabet uh, 3 in 30 challenges. We're up to letter I. So first of all, let me just thank everybody for your fantastic suggestions in my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I was blown over by the amount of amazing suggestions that I had. So I'm so pleased that I put it out there because people's enthusiasm um, for coming up with ideas was amazing. And, you know, you far surpassed <laughs> all of um, my expectations, really. Or not that I had any expectations, but my hopes anyway. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much. So I am going to be using some of those suggestions. Um, the first one being I, which is obviously this week. I, <laughs> I didn't really know what to do for I. So I was going to go with something like individuality um, or, you know, individual. Um which was a little bit vague and I couldn't quite then narrow it down to kind of thinking what I was going to do. So several people came up with the suggestion of index cards, which was fabulous. So thank you so much. Now, I'm not going to actually um, give credit, I'm afraid, to who gave the suggestions. The main reason being for that is because often more than one person suggested something. Um, so I would hate to then, even if I listed all the people... I would hate to then miss somebody out by mistake um, and not credit them. So I apologise if I'm not actually specifically naming you and giving you credit. But as I say, lots of people did come up with index cards, which why that hadn't occurred to me, I have no idea, but it it hadn't. So um, yeah, very grateful. Thank you very much. And um, really brilliant suggestion. Thank you. And as luck would have it, I had been to my local um, charity shop literally a couple of weeks ago. Um, just before the kids went back to school and I picked up a whole box of just different pieces it had in the box some of which were you know rubbish to me um, oops some of which weren't rubbish um, but needless to oh gosh I don't know clearly I don't know how to actually use my my clock there um, yes some of which were useless and some of which were great but it just happened to have, it had a brand new packet of these index card, um, what, new, uh, what do you call these, like divider pieces. And also had like a Rolodex um, box with a whole bunch of other index cards with their index card dividers. So the timing couldn't have been more perfect. It was like it was fate. So again, thank you so much for that great suggestion. So if you're wanting to join me in the challenge, I have just taken a bunch of these items. So I have got these ones, the small dividers, and I've got these ones, the large dividers, and I've got these ones, the actual um, flimsy sort of index cards themselves that would go into like a Rolodex. Well, it's not a Rolodex, is it? But it's the, the desk one, the flat one, not the roll one. I've just got those. Um, aside from that, I've brought along some book page. Um, I have brought along some tracing paper, which you will see in a minute, um, because I've got a fantastic idea that I have been very inspired by somebody. Um, so I will give her credit when I come to do that in a moment. I've got a stamp. I've also got a punch for punching a sort of window type effect. Um, Obviously, I've got my glue, I've got my scissors, I've got my distress inks. I've got a couple of different colour distress inks um, with me today because we might play around and do some other bits and pieces. I've got my stays on. Um, what else have I got? Well, obviously, being my desk, I have just got unlimited access to all sorts of things. So I've got doily pieces, I've got lace, I've got, well, you name it, it's here on my desk. So these are the basic materials that you're going to need and obviously anything else that you would like please bring it along um so i will try my best to keep my timer in view because i thought actually that was really a handy thing to do um again i'm not sure that i am that brilliant at doing that um oh there we go because obviously i'm in quite a limited space here so it may be that it gets pushed to one side slightly so perhaps i could just have it there or something um, but hopefully I'm going to try and keep that in view for you guys so let me move this basic piece of paper across okay right 
So, <laughs> we're going to go for it now. So, uh, yep, if you're crafting along with me, let's get going. Oh, one more thing, sorry. I'm going to use some Mod Podge. Um, but again, if you don't have Mod Podge, you can use just glue. It's absolutely fine. It will be just as good. Uh, brush for the Mod Podge. Okay, ready, steady. I'm going to click the timer now. Go. Okay, so my first idea has been very much inspired by, and I don't know how you pronounce this person's name, um, Lucia Casso or Queso. Um, that is her YouTube name. She had the most fantastic um, pieces that she had made. So I am going to try and emulate what she did. Um, mine will be slightly different, mainly due to my punch being different. So she made these fantastic um, window file folders. So I'm just going to start by covering my front one in book page. So hence the need for my Mod Podge here. Now I was going to cut around the tab, but I'm actually tempted to leave the tab intact, which A would be fantastic because I wouldn't have to cut around it. Um, and it might actually look really nice. So I'm going to just experiment and try that. Um, now she covered hers in music, sheet music. Hers were beautiful, I must say, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to try my very best to produce something nice too, um, but it's not going to obviously really resemble hers because as I say, she used sheet music, I'm using book page. I just thought I would do something a bit different. And you know what I've done straight away? I've gone straight over where that A was. So how not to do it? This is obviously going to end up being today. Okay. So try and stick that down there and then go as close to the edge as I can. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear that down. Now this might turn out to be just the biggest disastrous video ever, <laughs> but never mind. Hopefully it's it's real, isn't it? And um, you know we all have good days and bad days when we're crafting, don't we? So right now she obviously covered the front and the back piece. So like that and she covered the back piece. I'm not going to do that purely because we are obviously doing a challenge here and we are going to run out of time if I muck about too much. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to crack on with it as it is. So again, I might just tear this down. That's not really going to plan, is it? Should have really folded that round but never mind it doesn't matter <clears throat> so again just tear that round there now i have to confess she also stitched hers together um to form a little sort of pocket which i am intending on doing obviously as you know I don't have my sewing machine here so I'm going to have to do that off camera so I'm going to have to do that after the challenge has finished um, and if I remember I will try and bring my finished piece my stitched piece at the beginning of the next video to show you how it then turned out so what she did was obviously made a little window so I've got my punch here now as you can see my punch the reason I'm doing it this way up is because my punch would just swallow that entire file folder. So I'm having to do it this way. So I'm going to try and pop that nearer to the top. Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to be anywhere near center. Probably not. Let me just move down slightly. Well, 
doesn't really matter. I mean, we're just going to go for this. Oops. Right, so there we go. Now, my punch, as I say, is quite on the large side, which is a shame. Hers was um, much smaller and I personally think looked a lot better. But you just have to go with what you have, don't you? So I have brought along my stays on and I've got this cute little bird on the teacup, teacups stamp. So I'm just going to stamp him in here. Like that. And the reason I just put that over there, I just wanted to check that if I were to um, glue that down on the edge around here, I just wanted to check that it would kind of fit like that. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do because that seems to me probably like the most straightforward way of doing it, I think. Um, so I'm just going to glue that down. And obviously going quite close to where I've got my window piece. Like that. Okay. <clears throat> and actually I've just realised again, I'm shockingly bad for this today, I must say. So I'm just going to cut this down. So yeah, this is just tracing paper. It's not that really flimsy tracing paper that you got when you were at school. Um, this is just some other tracing paper that I ordered just from Amazon. So, right, let's try and stick this down here. Okay. And then obviously you can turn it over and um, spread your glue. Like that. So thank you so much to you guys who are joining me in the challenge. I realise it's not not for everybody, um, you know, particularly the timer aspect. Um, I mean, I just added that as an extra, an extra thing, really. Having said that, I am actually really enjoying the whole timed thing. Um, I'm finding it really quite fun because it's taking me so far out of my comfort zone and just sometimes it's nice to to be taken out from our comfort zone isn't it so um yeah i'm really enjoying it right now i'm going to just ink this up with some vintage photo i want this to look quite grungy and again really what i should have done was inked the um the hole before i stuck the tracing paper down and I should have inked the tracing paper before I stamped. I'm just going to sort of see that that's dry. I mean, this really is um, obviously a bit of a rush job because of the timer. If I had more time, I would have probably left that image to dry for a couple more minutes. I mean, as you can see, it is dry, but obviously there was a bit of a risk when I first inked it. So. And again, I'm just trying to now get into the the frame pieces itself because, again, that just didn't really occur to me to do that beforehand. And the, um, the rushy nature of these challenges kind of throws you off a little bit. Right. So that's that piece there. And then I'm going to stitch that around on the sewing machine just around like that. Now, I personally think that looks just gorgeous as it is. I don't know really that I think it even needs anything else. Um, but however, obviously that's not particularly fun to just leave it completely boring like that. So I think I will add one or two other things. 
Um, I mean, again, actually, we could have used this piece of that decorated paper that we made because that would have also looked really pretty. Um, I'm just going to see whether I've got any flowers that would look really good on this piece. I mean, those blue ones look quite nice, don't they? So these are just my my fabulous flowers. Um, printables. I quite like the blue. I think that's really nice. So we could just have that off to the side, maybe like that. So, I mean, actually, I quite liked that looking quite clean next to there. For some reason, that looked quite attractive, I thought. But I will ink it up because, obviously we're going for that grungy look but it goes to show how you could have just had it on there quite um quite grungy uh quite plain and it would have looked really nice so i'm just going to pop that down like that so hopefully that would act as a little tuck spot as well so we can pop that on there and then Obviously, it wouldn't really be one of my pieces if I didn't now pop some lace somewhere. So let me see what lace I have here. I've got this little postcard piece as well. So I'm just going to ink that up. And we can pop that into that little tuck spot there. And then what lace have I got here? Just seeing what I've got laying around so I'm not hunting about because obviously we haven't got time in these challenges to be hunting around for things. So um, it's just a case of let's work with what's really to hand. I mean, everything, as I say, is to hand on my desk, but whether or not it's to hand and visible is completely another thing altogether. So I might just pop this lace on, actually. I mean, this is that beautiful lace that Laura gifted me and... I just love how it looks on everything. So um, I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac there to pop that on. I'm going to leave it a bit long at the side because I think that just looks quite nice like that. And then we're just going to trim that off there. So as I say, obviously in slower time, I'm going to then pop these two together and stitch around them on the sewing machine and then you'd have your little side load in pocket there. So that's that piece. I'm going to pop that to one side. We're down to 17 and a half minutes already. The time is flying by, literally whizzing by. So my next piece that I thought we could do, let me just grab these in, is I thought we could make a little oops it's not going to work with that one so here's one I folded earlier so I'm just going to show you exactly what I've done here the only reason I'm not using the C is because as you can see that tab is smack bang in the middle of that card so it wouldn't particularly work for that so I'm just going to have it like that instead and I mean completely got lots of choices here we could make this a little booklet we could make it with a little flippy pad inside or again we could make this a little pocket just in there or a top loading pocket so lots and lots of different um you know versatile ways that we can use this so i might just again mod podge over the front i think of that and this time yeah, this time I'm going to um, Mod Podge the, what do you call it, that tab piece as well. So I will probably struggle to cut around that, but never mind. These things are sent to try us, aren't they? And um, I can't be the only person, surely, who struggles to make things really nice and neat like that. But again, I mean, I can show you... What I like to do um, when I've cut around fiddly things like that, which, you know, I just, I'm not going to make a good job of cutting around that. I just know that I'm not. 
um, but I can show you how I try and get around that um, my cheat cheat way of getting around it so just going to pop this on and again this is just one of my printables that I just happen to have laying around on my desk and um, I thought brilliant again let's just grab that and use that up so just spread that down like that now at this point you could go round here onto the back and that would be quite quite neat and nice so I might just do that but what I might do first is cut up this down so I'm just going to cut that down here yes I like to do my videos a bit of a waltz and all really because um and I know that I have said this before. I mean, I realise that there are some parts of this that are incredibly boring to watch. I mean, maybe not in the alphabet um, videos because actually, hopefully, there's not really time for it to be too boring because obviously we're just rush, rush, rush. Um, but in sort of other videos, I don't very often tend to um, cut parts out or anything like that. And the main reason being is I know that for me personally, I sometimes am watching a video and, um, you know, of a, a tutorial or a how-to, and then they'll go off and do something, you know, and say, oh, I'll come back once I've done this. I know I have just said that with stitching that um, pocket, but that's purely because my sewing machine's not here and I have told you exactly what I'm going to do and hopefully, you know, you're not missing anything. Um, and they might go off and do what I would have deemed quite an important piece that I didn't know how to do. I'm just going to check that I'm in frame. I've just suddenly had this really horrible feeling. I'm in frame and filming, so that's always a good thing. Um, now, what I'm going to do here is take some sandpaper and I just sand around anywhere where I've not cut particularly neatly. So in those little corners, I just take my sandpaper and just sand them down. And then it looks fine. I mean, I think it looks fine anyway. I'm not, sure. I'm not saying everybody would, but I just think that tidies it up. And then I'll just go along the edge as well. So as you've got continuity with the effect of the finish that you've got and again just the same down the bottom just so that all of the sides look similar okay so that just gets around any any messy cutting and again I'm just going to link this up now these printables they are sold um, as white which I thought was adding quite a lot of versatility because then you could choose to coffee stain them or not. Um, I rather like them coffee dyed, but I obviously haven't had time or thought to coffee dye it before this video. But I mean, I think that looks fine as that is now. So there we go. Right. So again, Obviously, as we say, you can have this now as a little booklet or a top loading pocket. I'm going to have this as a top pocket. And again, I'm going to stitch this after this video. So I know I'm doing exactly what I've just been talking about not doing, but hopefully, you know, hopefully you can understand the reasons for that. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. Um, just occasionally I might be watching, and it's not necessarily a YouTube video. It could be a cooking program or... I don't know, Bake Off or anything really. And they'll say, you know, oh, I'm just going to do this or do that. And suddenly they go off and then the screen flicks to the next part and they might have done the crucial bit that I didn't know how to do. So, you know, with that being in mind, I try my very best to film every single part, even if it's possibly 
not really of interest because um, I would rather do that and have everything than not do that and have bits missing. So hopefully, hopefully that's helpful to you guys too. Um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, obviously we all have our own ways of working, don't we? And what I find helpful, maybe you guys would find pretty annoying or not helpful, but um, definitely for me, I think that's, that's something really, really useful to see all parts, even if there's parts that actually I wouldn't necessarily need to see. It's better to see them just in case there's something that actually I would otherwise miss. Right, enough waffling now. So I'm just deciding what to put obviously on on my piece here. Just having a look through little bits and bobs that I've just got. Again, just laying around on my desk. Um, oh, I haven't got really anything much that's going to go with this piece. So this was particularly poor planning obviously on my part today. Um, I mean, I know I'm always saying, oh, I've got everything here on my desk, but as is so often the case, everything except for the very thing that I need now. Um, not that I know what that thing is until it just jumps out at me. I don't really know what it is that I'm actually hunting for. Um, hmm. Right, I might have to come back to this piece because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. So actually, I've got, I've got these flowers here. I, I could just use one of these flower cards. Let's try this. It might look okay, it might not. No, not that one. It's very yellow compared to that piece. So, no, not, not loving that. Uh, oh, come on. Isn't it just so annoying when then you can't really get things to come together? Especially in these challenges. Right, I'm going to come back to this piece because um, I'm really wasting time. So my next piece, and I've kind of planned this. So I had a bit of a play just with a piece of card there to check that this was going to work. So. I'm going to take my wild honey onto one of these cards and just distress up completely in this gorgeous rich honey colour. Okay, and then just pop the vintage photo now. The time just really gets away with you in these um, 3 and 30, doesn't it? I don't think we've actually failed at one so far, but today could well be that day. So what I'm going to do is pop it onto this envelope. So I'm just going to glue that down. Oops. Oh really ticking by very 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 fast today yes today may well be the day that we do fail horribly now trying to decide what will happen if we do because um oh gosh i'm going to leave that off because again just cutting into my time here so there's that and i'm going to cut this envelope down like that and then I'm just going to ink around again making sure it's really nice and um, inky and dark and vintage on there now here I might just pop this onto some book page which actually I have got this yeah let's just pop that on there so 
this is just a little piece here from my fabulous fall kit. So I'm just going to pop that onto that book page, which I've obviously stamped around. And that was stamped using the Toffee Crunch colour. So again, I'm just going to really ink this up to um, make this really nice and dark as well. Okay. And I'm going to pop a bit of doily down. Oh my gosh, I think we are going to fail today. Oh no. Yeah, I'm trying to decide what do we do if we fail because I don't want to just carry on crafting because that's just pointless, isn't it? There's no point being timed if then you're going to ignore it when the timer goes off. But um, I'm frustrated that we're not going to end up finishing otherwise. I'm trying to think whilst I'm doing this piece what we could actually do with that other piece. Now, Again, I'm just going to pop this down as a little pocket in the front. Whether or not I'll remember that it was even a pocket, who knows? Probably won't. But at least it's on there. That's, that's one. Actually, that's not going to work anyway because I'm going to put some lace trim across the top. So you wouldn't really be able to get to that pocket anyway. Actually, I'm going to have the lace at the bottom, in which case you will be able to get to it. So I'll just pop that lace on there. Oh, come on. Yeah, I still can't decide what to have on there. Oh, sorry. This is my kitchen towel rather than my wipe. Right. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just going to ink that up like that. I have got a brown flower here Oops. that was again just laying around but perfect just goes beautifully on this piece doesn't it so just going to glue that one down wow I am going really quickly here that time is just racing literally racing away oh it's so annoying I'm trying to think trying to think what can I pop on that card? <gasps> now, for the first time, my desk would appear to be such a mess that it's actually going against me because I can't even see the wood for the trees to see what's on here that I could use. Oh, that's so annoying. Right. Oh, gosh. I've got the pearl trim stuck on my thumb. Okay. Right. Oh, come on. So we've got that like that. And then might just quickly, oh my gosh, famous last words there, quickly stamp a couple of things in the background. So maybe just a little bit of scripty or something. Just check that's up the right way. There we go. Just so the background's not completely plain. So there's that piece right okay we really are now down to the wire so let's pull this piece back in I'm just going to pop anything down I think on there because I don't want to um don't want to not do it so let's just pop maybe her down maybe a piece of doily I don't like her on there she's not right is she she is not the right piece to put on there but I haven't got time, I think, to muck about looking for anything else. So it's going to have to be her, I think. I have got some red lace here, funnily enough. For something else that I've been working on. So we could have a bit of red lace somewhere. Is that a bit, a bit bright, maybe? Mm. Let's just pop the doily down. Right, 
doilies on. And then actually, I just thought of one more thing. I've got 26 seconds. Wow, this is just horrible. Really horrible. Oh no. Am I going to get the piece? I don't think I'm even going to find the piece in time. I've got a typewriter here, which I thought, let's put that on there. I've got eight seconds. There's no way in a million years I'm going to be able to cut this out in eight seconds. That's it. My timer has finished. Right. Okay, so I'm being really naughty now and just going over a little bit. I know this is nail cheating. Um, and it's okay. I don't mind people commenting saying, yes, you were cheating, because, yeah, I am. Um, but it was just so frustrating otherwise. Right, I've got my typewriter now. I'm going to just pop the typewriter on. So this is, um, again, one of my printables. This is just printed onto uh, vellum. So it's not tracing paper. This is printed onto vellum. And we'll just glue that down like that. Okay. So I would probably add something else now. Um, I would probably, you know, finish it with some lace or something like that. So I'm probably not going to now because obviously we are over time by one minute, three seconds now. So don't want to be too naughty. I did want to stick that typewriter down because in fairness, if I hadn't spent ages looking for pieces, then, you know, I would have not had to cheat, but never mind. So that's our top loading pocket and I'm going to stitch around that just on these two edges or maybe on three um, even though it's you know technically doesn't need that stitch uh, that stitching but I might do just for uniformity um, so that would be then a top loading pocket we've got this one here which we just popped an index card on the front of an envelope and then we've decorated it up with various pieces. Uh, <coughs> and we've also got a little top loading pocket there. And then this one, um, again, this I'm going to have to finish off on the sewing machine because obviously my sewing machine wasn't here. So I'm just going to place these two together like that and stitch around here and here and the bottom. And that would then be A side loading pocket like that. So if I just pull something in to show you how they would look on a page. Again I don't have a journal on the go. Well I do but not the style that I could show you. So I'm just going to pull this in just to show you how these would look. So this would be your top loading pocket. Now I will just say obviously these are quite stiff because these are those divider cards. So this is quite stiff. So you may be better off just paper clipping this in so that it could be moved around your book because obviously it is quite a solid um, embellishment piece. This one, not so much because these seem thinner. These tiny ones seem thinner. And again, these are just the ones that I've bought. Yours may be completely different anyway. But that's how that one would look on a page. And you could actually have it right up to the edge glued down. And then you've got those overhanging the edge, which isn't that cute. So that's a little bonus of doing it lengthways rather than the other way up is because you can obviously utilise those um, as your little pages. So, And then you've got your side loading pocket there. And then the final piece is this one here. And again, you've got obviously little pockets here and then you've got oops the envelope itself as a little pocket there so i hope that you liked the pieces that we made i mean as i say we did end up having to cheat or i i did end up having to cheat a little bit but hopefully you know not too much so thank you very much for joining me i hope you'll join me for the next letter um which we are now up to j so thank you very much i'll see you guys again soon thanks then bye